and I got these poems that I passed out, and God was telling me to go and bless those people because it was something that he wanted me to see. And I, I, and I you turned around, and, and, I, and I said, well, I'll catch them later. <laughs> so I'll just go past them. And I knew God was telling me to go back there for some reason. So it would have been easy for me to just turn when he told me to, but being hard I didn't. So when I go up there, I got to turn. I can't you turn. Now I got to go through all this stuff just to go back to that parking lot. <laughs> so I did. So I go back to the parking lot, and God said, go up there and ask some people for direction. There were some bikers. There were some white guys, bikers. And so knowing I wasn't lost, I went up there and I gave him a poem, you know, that's what they gave him a poem, boom. Walked on down, blessed some more folks. And then I came to these two security guards standing outside the store. And I gave them a poem and then all of a sudden, you know, they, they seen the John the Baptist and I just kind of started talking to them and, you know, they was asking me questions, just trying to see if I really knew what, knew what I was talking about. Come to find out these two guys, they even though they were in security uniform, pulled out their clergy and pastor bad and that, and that just blew me away because I knew then that's what God wanted me to do. He wanted me to go back around there so that I could meet them two guys and bless them and let them know <laughs> that there's some people out here and that, that, that you're not alone. And I, I just tell you, sometimes, you know, when you hear that voice, man, trust me, and it, 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 it might not make sense to you, but it's, it, trust me, just do it. Just do it. And I promise you, you'll, 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 you'll reap the reward, rewards and benefits from it. I know because, you know what, I went back and that was what I discovered. I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you about some of the things that's going on in the world, too. Whether y'all know it or not, man, this thing is coming down, whether you know it, Agree with it, believe it or not. I try, I tell, it's something to me that's funny. I say, you know what? If in 1940 something, they can build a fence, the Berlin Wall. They got the Great Wall of China. I say, if they can build a wall to keep people from crossing it. You try to tell me in 2000, 2010, 9, 8, you try to tell me we can't build a fence to protect our border? We don't want to protect our border. Think about it. I mean, you got people coming across here. They, these people don't want. The borders, they don't want the borders uh, stopped off because what they, they already understand. America, Canada, and Mexico are finna become one country. Vicente Fox was doing an interview on Larry King Live, and he even said that they even had the money, what they was gonna call the money, it's called a marrow. <laughs> don't you think that's funny? But yeah, they're finna divide the country, they're finna divide the world up into ten regions. And that's how the, the world, that's how he's going to be able to control the world. He's going to be able to control the world exactly how you're watching me right now through the video. That's how he's going to know whether you are bowed down and worshiping him. Think about it. These TVs nowadays, man, they can, I'm like, think about it, they got satellites that can see you from, from 10 million miles up in the sky to wherever you're standing. They can, they know with all these Nielsen ratings, if they can tell who's watching and what. So that's how he knows. If you're bowed down, if you're, going, if you're worshiping or not, he's going to know because guess what? When you're looking at him, he's going to be looking at you too. That's why they're putting up all these cameras everywhere all over the world. There ain't going to be nothing, man. You look at, you look at all, I tell you what, look at all these CSIs and all this kind of stuff, man. They, it's almost like you can't get away with nothing, man. They can, they can get you with a, with a piece of grass. <laughs> and they can get you, you can do something 20 years, 20 years ago. And they can catch you today with all this DNA and stuff. So guess what? You can't get away, man. I'm going to tell you something. If you don't take that mark, oh, my goodness, brother, they're going to kill you. Guess what? He said, you'd rather, go. He said, you'd rather be killed. That's why he said, love not your life on the death, because if you try to save it, you will lose it. But if you lose it for his name's sake, you will save it. <laughs> Ooh, man. National health care. Oh my goodness, that's the one that they are trying to sell y'all now. <laughs> Man, they're making this $900 billion, and they debating over $900 billion. We already got trillions of dollars of deficits. <laughs> $900 billion. 
Smash and the F curve is what they're going to use to get everybody to the system, man. I tell people this. The money ain't in the cure. The money is in the medicine. Because if I cure you, you won't come back. But if I put a band-aid on the gunshot wound, you're going to keep coming back. Don't you ever think it's strange, man, that you might have one problem, and that they'll give you some medicine, they'll prescribe you something, and by the, but then by the time you finish listening to it, you got six more problems you got to worry about. I was like, forget that. I'll just stay with the one. <laughs> I'll just stay with the one. See, this is the problem. The, what, the same thing, that's why they call it controlled substances. Don't you think it's funny that alcohol is illegal, that all of a sudden it's illegal, that alcohol kills more people every day than, than, than you can even imagine. But yet these same controlled substances See, they already figured out, if I give you a little bit, it's going to make you feel better. But then by the time that one get, by the time you get through feeling better about that one, guess what? <laughs> you're going to have some more problems to worry about. But see, the enemy already knows that his people get care of because they don't care about no preachers, no politicians. That's why God said whatever goes into a man is what's going to come out. So guess what? They going to get it regardless. They don't care about no police, no preachers, no politicians, so they're going to have it. So you got a bunch of these jokers running around here all amped up with all this evil in them. <laughs> so they like super devils. And guess what? You run around here, people talking about drugs, they, 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 y'all play like this. There ain't a home you can go to in this country where they ain't got some kind of medicine, medicine in it. <laughs> Now think about it, where's the first place they send you when they leave the doctor office? They send you right to the pharmacy. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so yeah, so guess what? They gonna, they gonna give y'all that in the health care. And that way, guess what? They gonna control y'all, they gonna control the doctor, they 